Hey everybody, this is Richard Care, Richard Care Reviews. Uh, not doing another episode of Saw Month because, uh, one, I just realized how many more sequels I gotta go through. Uh, and, um, I don't know, Trench might be pissed at me for something in the Discord. Uh, I think I might know the situation, so until that gets drained out, I'll save, I guess, at this point, speed run double reviews because, yeah, I was gonna do it anyway given how many sequels are gonna be. Uh, for Saws, uh, 3 and 4, probably this weekend, so, a couple of bits of news, uh, it's mostly gonna be, well, since we're talking Halloween stuff, let's keep it Resident Evil focused. Uh, one of my oldest high school friends just started doing a stream of, uh, the RE series, uh, she's doing 5, so link down below to her Twitch if you guys wanna see the stream. It's not, it's not live, but whenever it happens, it happens, and she's a local artist here, so, uh, any art she has also in her, in her Instagram down below, please follow her. Awesome times. That all being said, uh, I do have news regarding, I believe, the reboot uh, movie they're doing, uh, or is it reboot series for Netflix, the live action one this time. Um, I don't know which casting is whose when it comes to the actress they casted. Chances are it's probably going to be their version of Jill. Uh, of Jill. So, a uh, card there to. Uh, Combo cast, yeah, I'm going back to combo cast because again, I don't trust Nerd Erotic anymore. I think Gary's a little too lenient on the apolitical side. It's the whole thing. I don't even want to do that. Um, the one I can remember from memory um, is Robbie Amell, brother of Stephen Amell, who probably might be Chris or Wesker, depending on uh, who you ask. Uh, they're the only two that got casted so far. Uh, I assume pretty much like every other live action project. Uh, Movie, TV-wise, got halted because of, you know, COVID, so, um, if shooting resumed, who knows, uh, I just want to get my quick thoughts on, uh, at the very least, Robbie's side, who I think he, she, he should be, um, some are speculating, uh, like I said, Chris, and to be honest, um, I could see it, I, I could definitely see it, uh, I just, uh, ironically, since I'm talking about Chris here, I just finished, uh, playing the, uh, prequel DLC, uh, that turned Jill into Evil Jill in 5, uh, was a pretty quick, like, I don't know, one to two hours. It was a nice little, you know, nice little playthrough. A little bit of a learning curve at the end, but, um, when you get to the Wesker fight, it was actually pretty good. Definitely good memories there on my end. So, um, I highly recommend that if you want to get an idea of their dynamic, I guess, post the core games going into five, but that's, <laughs> we're not here for a game review. We're here to do some quick analysis. Um, Chris would be nice. I have no clue who they're casting after that, and if they are, if they casted a Jill and a Chris, which means they're probably going to do a faithful adaptation of the first game, uh, Spencer Mansion-wise, um, that's the inside incident at the start of the whole series. Uh, since I'm also here, uh, talking about the games, no new news on, uh, 8, like I said, at the TTS, uh, trailer, um, card, in case you guys want to see it. It's more of the same, it just basically reconfirmed uh, Chris being kind of heel, who really knows at this point, um, wrestling term-wise. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess update on non-movie TV content, in case you guys are really not into Halloween this year. Um, I highly recommend OSW Reviews. I just sat through their, uh, I think their Survivor Series, uh, 94. Uh, I highly recommend uh, looking at the variant cover they made for their video of uh, a Spider-Man version of uh, Brad Hart. It was actually pretty cool. Um, so, happy days. I don't know the whole quotes yet, but I'm marathoning like, a lot of old OSW footage just to see if I could find some PG safe jokes I could say, uh, referencing the guys. Uh, they got merch. I'm totally gonna wear it. Just saying. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, final thoughts on Robbie Bell's casting. Um, chances are it's probably gonna be Chris. Um, there's some photoshops already of him in the remake year, uh, from the first, uh, uh, first remake, not two and three, and, uh, I could kind of see it, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, anybody who's cosplayed the original costume, uh, or anybody, any of the times I did old, uh, old costumes for future games, I'm almost certain his old Star's uniform is in five, it's just one of those old school unlockables you had to go through and probably get a manuscript, uh, strategy guy back in the day, now just look online. I'll probably do that, uh, getting ready for, um, this movie, or series, whichever is this, this is gonna be Netflix-wise. Um, so yeah, uh, no new news also for, uh, Infinite Darkness. Um, I don't know if they changed any of the voice actors they would normally use. If they did, uh, I need data on below for that project and for the upcoming Netflix live-action adaptation. Um, 
So yeah, um, in case Saw Month is a little too hardcore for you guys, please let me know down in the comments down below. This is both uh, channel news and just quick movie news uh, in case uh, new things happen for the Netflix side of things, Resident Evil wise. Uh, and guard here to the playlist in case you guys still want to check it out just to see if it's still worth a try. Uh, previous video here, uh, which was me, I think, if I can go to my content real quick, was covering, uh, Hasbro Plus that came out uh, a few weeks ago. So, yeah, uh, I think I made a new setup having my laptop here. It's kind of like a pseudo-teleprompter so I can remember my content. Uh, give me a like if that works, whether or not, um, notification down below. If that works, please let me know. Also in the comments, uh, again, uh, share the video if you guys actually like what I say editorial-wise. Um, if anything, uh, please, again, I would love any feedback for a song month. This is a brand new playlist. I really want to make it, give it a little bit of love before Spiral comes out next year. If I got any details wrong, also please let me know in either the playlist or the comments here in this video. Again, any feedback would help so much. I would love to know what's going on. And if... In character wise and anything else I've gone a little over the edge or I'm just fumbling it like I usually do and I don't want to abandon the project because one I really do like the idea of sitting through the Saw series on Halloween it's one of the rare few horror franchises I get to talk about and I know everyone's really done it to death like well she way way back when if I could get a card go to it um, and I know pretty much it pretty much skimmed it with highlights but I, I don't know I really want to take my time with this one and again if you're burned out of me trying to figure this out uh Decker Shadow already did the whole series at this point so if you guys want to see that channel down below and uh with all the info dump aside uh yeah I'm Richard Care Richard Care Reviews thank you for sitting through this ramble semi hopefully pushback and semi uh go through of the news when it comes to Resident Evil uh live action again if Robbie's watching, um, I totally see you as Chris. And if Barry says something about your blood, that kind of means it's faithful. Not creepy. Faithful. I know. Weird. But, hey, anyway, it's Capcom. What are you going to do?